we've been sort of environmental activists for a, for a long time. We met in the Galapagos on this thing called Mission Blue, which was hosted by Sylvia Earle, who's one of the preem- preeminent oceanographers out there. And we started a conversation, and I came to Fisher, and I essentially said, I want to do a climate change film for the people, or mm-hmm. I position myself as a citizen of the world that may be able to get contacts with a lot of interesting people, scientists and political leaders worldwide, and try to convey the information and science of climate change to the general public in a different way. And Fisher got excited about the prospect. So this has been a three-year journey for us. We've traveled really all around the world, yeah. spoken to some incredibly interesting people, saw a lot of devastation, and, and tried to ultimately highlight, I think, in the film, the pathway out of this, uh, which is a very complex one. Well, there's still this dialogue that's going on in our country where people are still denying man-made climate change. And as one of the scientists puts it in this movie very bluntly, it's like denying gravity exists at this point. You have over 97% of the consensus of the scientific community saying that this is real, we are doing this damage, and to argue that means you're not really somebody that lives in the modern world. Yes, so timing was very important for us in the United States election, and um, we're, we're hoping that if you do not believe in climate, it's not just not believing it, it means that nothing will take, no action will happen. We need action and we need it now, and that's why we wanted to get this film out so quickly. We also want the public to understand the complexity, as Leo said, of this issue in a very digestible, palatable way. Um, so it's a big subject, but this guy is, to me, the perfect person, the messenger to, to kind of take you through this, uh, this journey. And, uh, and it was the first time I think Leo's probably been filmed where he didn't have lines to say. And he was uh, amazing to work with. And uh, I think I, we really want people to see this thing and, and make, make progress in changing the way people view climate change. I think change. we also sort of attack climate change denialism in a very interesting way. We break it down from a political perspective. We also talk about lobbyists, where the money comes from in the denialism. And we introduce things in this documentary like a carbon tax, which is going to be the next wave of important dialogue when it comes to really making a dent in the issue of climate change. So I hope people enjoy the movie. We put our heart and soul soul into it, really. And it was... um, 